Good afternoon, I'm Joel Fike. And I'm Elizabeth McFarland. There are several breaking news stories we're following at this hour. A twin-engine airplane has crashed at Bishop International Airport this morning, injuring four people. The airport closed briefly, but is now back open. NBC 25's Brittany Noble is there live. She joins us with the story. And Brittany, this was a very close call. Definitely a very close call, Joe. Four men were taken to the Hurley Medical Center. That's after their plane flipped over earlier this morning. Now, they were coming from St. Petersburg, Florida, on their way to Wisconsin. In midair, they lost one of their two engines, and they were forced to land. Now, we don't have any of the names or the ages of the men, but according to officials, ER procedures went according to plan. All four men were wearing seatbelts, but they had to be pried out of the, plan, out of the plane. Injuries as far as officials know were not life-threatening. They were all able to walk away, Joel and Liz. However, two of them could not speak. Now, of course, that might be due to, to the extreme shock. The airport did shut down for 30 minutes. None of the flights were affected, and uh, the federal aviation is now taking over this investigation. Brittany, what about Bristol Airport and uh, Bristol Road, rather? Was that ever closed? Well, it, it wasn't never closed, Joel, and in fact, we didn't have problems even driving here, so it seemed as if nothing even happened. All right. Well, that's good. Brittany Noble reporting live from Bishop Airport.